All right, we are live. Awesome. What's up, guys? Sean Bowen, Full Circle Investment Group and WholesalingOutOfTheBox.com. Back at it again for another Lunchtime Live. All right, so like the post said, guys, today we're talking about how to find buyers on your creative financing deals to whether it be financing from the seller or if you're taking over an existing mortgage and then to rewrap that and have a landlord uh, investor tenant that's going to be in that position. Okay. So guys, as you're coming on and joining us, let us know where you're hearing this from. We should be uh, live in our normal spaces, which is Virginia Wholesale Real Estate. Uh, we have it over in our private group. Um, and then of course, I think that's all we have for here, but then we'll have this as a recording later for you guys to watch. So uh, let us know where you're coming in from. Let us know where you're hearing this. And as we talk about this, um, let us know if you have questions, write them over there. Always love to hear the feedback. Always love to be able to deep dive if we can in the 15 minute session that we try to run these under. But um, if you have questions, uh, hit that link so we can see who you are and where you're coming from with your questions. And then uh, if you have, uh, if you leave comments for later, really enjoy this. So guys, we're deep diving on how to find buyers for your creative financing deals. So what we're referring to here is, is let's say you get, um, we've got a few of these we've done this year. Um, and actually we're in the middle of one right now. So let's specifically talk to the one that we've had in the past, uh, owner finance. The seller is willing to take financing back on the property. Uh, and I'm just going to use flat numbers for existence uh, to keep it simple. It would be $100,000 at 5% for 30 years. And let's just say the pump payment's 500 bucks. And it's just principal and interest. Okay. And then we're going to take that same paper and we're going to turn around and we're going to sell it to a landlord or investor in buyer. Right. And they're going to be responsible for paying. They're going to be the landlord person that deals with tenants, deals with toilets, deals with playing landlord as we will take the position of banker. Right. How do you make money doing that? So we're going to increase the percentage in between. Um, and then we're going to increase the down payment to make a little bit of money up front. And then there will be a, a balloon that will go over that note uh, and a balloon, meaning like it's time to come due. Right, it's time to pay up, uh, and if you don't, then there's terms in your paperwork that says you have to extend it, start over, like all these kind of things, um, and that's how we're making money on the deal. Okay, where do you find buyers like this? So this is putting these ads out um, in pretty common places nowadays. Uh, we're talking about Facebook Marketplace. You're talking about meetup groups, um, private Facebook groups, um, to build a buyer's list for specific creative deals that typically come in with a little bit of money down and it's not as much money to the table and allows that person to build up their portfolio. So this could be a, a one, two, three type deal with the same buyer that you're playing banker to with the financing that you already created on the front end. So you're playing the in-between banker to what you created to an end buyer, okay? So this marketing goes out uh, based on like what you're looking for, um, low cash in deal, um, investor special, uh, landlord special, um, the marketing behind that needs to get the attention of somebody that wants to be a landlord. Okay. So, and, and this is what our game is guys. This is what I do as an operation because I just do not want to play that game. And I've unfortunately been stuck with a few, for a small amount of time and then eventually get rid of them. Um, but I just don't want to deal with the, the land, the tenants and then the issues that come with it. And you know, everybody's like, Oh, I want to build a portfolio, but I don't want the headaches that come with it. So we have created that. And that's what we do with this with owner finance and, or doing the subject to where let's talk about that for a second, where you're taking over a mortgage. Okay. Um, and I'll use one. I know the numbers on today, which is, uh, we're talking about taking over a loan of $55,000 and it's a duplex situation. Um, it's going to take about 10 grand aside to get it up to rent ready condition. And the monthly payment on it's like 650 a month. And then behind that is rent. It'll be rent ready at 750 a month. 
So that should be grossing you like 1500 a month in income. And then from there, you're going to put in your, your rehab costs. So we look at this as a, I'm going to step in position of a, a deal where I can make a monthly payment and not have to take it on my personal credit. And then I'm going to turn around and get a down payment on that from the end buyer again, just like in an owner finance situation where I'm taking the, the creativity of the note and the sub two that I have, and I'm just rewrapping it to the in person. So it takes care of my closing cost. It takes care of um, a few monthly payments that look in this case, they're behind. And then it allows us to make a little bit of profit. And then from there, we're going to let that ride for like two or three years. And then they can refi out and now they have their own loan against it, or they can cash us out and keep that loan in play. So finding these buyers, with understanding this creativity is appealing to what most people want to see, right? Low money in, um, what's the performance going to be? What's my cash on cash return, right? This is really important to know how to structure. Um, most people want to see, or I hear a lot of this, which is Sean, I need two, $300 a month in cash flow. Um, and then of course you work those out to numbers. Some guys have their numbers. Some guys just say monthly cash flow. Um, but this is what you're trying to get out to people when you're marketing for these guys. You, these buyers want to see low money to the table or low money out of pocket. And then what are they going to have to do to get it ready? And then behind that is how do you control it as the person playing the banker in between and everybody makes money. This is where I want nothing but my goal is not to take these things back, but instead to hold short term, get past the one year um, mark of time and then be able to refi them out. So everybody's making money on these things. So as you're marketing to these, these people, you and this is for people that are marketing and people that are looking for things. Um, I would really suggest to give as much information as you can. And the flyer we specifically put out talked about, you're taking over a mortgage of 55,000, the monthly payment 650. You're on the back end of the note, it's 6.5%. You know, you're uh, 15 years left on the note. So it's mostly principal that's going to the payment. Um, it's given as much information as possible. And then we do some rental comps um, showing what things are renting for in the area. And then of course, a, a breakdown of what we think the, each, the units might need in repairs. So guys, as you're coming on, looks like we have a few people watching. Uh, if you would leave us some comments. Uh, is this helpful? Is this stuff that's um, you've done or worked on or interested in? Um, love to see anybody that's here currently leave some information for us or leave some questions. Love, love, love the feedback guys. Um, otherwise, uh, the overall of this is we, we were saying on this talking about how to find people. So creating those flyers and then constantly marketing for those people. Right. And that's that flyer that says owner finance available, low down payment, low monthly payments could be a higher interest rate, but it's a low monthly payment. So all this is based on what most people want. Most people don't care about the interest rate. They mostly care about the down payment, right? And then of course the monthly payment. So you need to understand how to structure and amortize um, mortgage loans or calculations um, to understand how you're going to figure those out. Um, some of the calculators that we use um, is the loan calculator and easy calculator in the app world, whether that's Android or the Apple space. Um, you don't have to know how to do all the crazy calculations back in the day with a specific mortgage calculator. It, it really does it quickly for you to understand um, if this, then that type scenario. Uh, Cause some people just care about their monthly payment. Some people care about the interest, but that allows you to run those calculations and help you. Um, again, if you're trying to market for these guys, you've got to put things together as much information so that you can get that out to them and they know ahead of time for the decision whether it makes sense or not. I don't like to put things out that don't have as much information as possible because I like to answer as many questions ahead of time. Just like if I'm looking at a deal, right? I don't want somebody telling me like great duplex deal, uh, Newport news, um, two bedroom, one bath, each side could rent for six fifty, twenty thousand dollars, $20,000. And like, that's it. There's no other information. So that person has to ask so many questions and, get more information. So why not supply it for them ahead of time? Know your numbers, know whether it's a good deal or not. Um, most people are, we talk about, you know, cap rates on performance buildings or per performance on a building where it's 10% or more. 
Um, and some people just want a really good cash on cash return. I mean, if you're getting, if we talk about some numbers here, you're coming to the table with like 30 grand and you're, let's say you're getting a $14,000 net after expenses. What's that return? I mean, you're north of 50%, right? So it's a really good return on your cash. Um, looking at this and structuring these are really important. Understanding how to structure it is really important too. Um, and then marketing to those individuals, right? It, weeding through the people that are going to say, yes, I've got the ability. Um, you need that proof of funds, right? You need somebody to show that they have the liquid capital to put down as a down payment for what's going to be your fee plus closing costs, you know, all this kind of stuff uh, and not waste a lot of time. This goes right along with your cash buyers for any wholesale deals. You know, it's sticking to basic criteria and this goes, this goes for anybody. If you're getting into, um, you're getting into vetting a person as the end buyer, you sh they should be completely fine with providing what they have available. Um, or if they're using somebody else's money, be able to provide who that is so that you can validate it and make sure it's real. Um, this is just to save your time guys. Right. So building that, um, that platform, building that flyer and then sharing it to those individuals that have already been pre-selected in the criteria. Right. There shouldn't be a, hey, here's my flyer. I hope you can do the deal. This should be a, hey, here's our flyer. We've already gone through the vetting process. All this criteria meets what you said you wanted and what we want. So it's not a guessing game. Right. So that's the short and sweet of owner finance sub two and finding your buyers um, and what that looks like and how to structure that um, flyer to information being given out to them. Um, and then explaining in detail how you're going to play that middle person slash banker. Right. Um, and this is just for guys that don't, you know, they don't want to be the landlord. Um, they don't want to deal with tenants and toilets. They want to be that just monthly in between person. It's not a lot of money, but if you stack these up five, 10, 12 of these at a time, and each one of them is making you X percentage in interest, and then you've got spread through uh, down payments, like it stacks up and builds up every time. All right. And that's just the model that we've used and worked really well. So guys, thank you so much for being here again today. I appreciate you taking time to watch our lunchtime live, either here live or the replay. And um, if there's any questions or any statements against any of this stuff, guys, please share it. I'd love to see the comments and love to have conversations about what other people do and how it benefits them, or maybe they do it a different way right? Everything that we talk about here, guys, is just things that we've learned and done in our business. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the only way. It just means it's the way that we've done really well with. So as always, I love to have conversations about learning from other people uh, and information that they share to show maybe something different, right? So thank you so much, guys, for taking the time. As always, if you're ever interested in um, things that you might need to do the wholesaling business, please check us out at wholesalingoutofthebox.com. Check us out on our tools and our event pages. Uh, we do have the event coming up this Friday, which is the property walkthrough. Uh, that's a big hit as far as like people learning how to do estimation on a rehab uh, in order to make an offer to a seller. Those are huge, right? I've had guys come from out of town. We've had guys in town and just realizing they le learning this goes quick and fast and it doesn't take so much time and so many estimates from contractors. So check us out at wholesalingoutofthebox.com if you ever need anything on your wholesaling side. And as always, guys, we're here to help. If you need anything, reach out. See you guys on the next one. Later.